Stadium in Columbia, Missouri for what should be a very exciting football game. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. See how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. McGowan fields it at the two, brought down at the 22. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Five wide. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes at the 37. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. From their own 37-yard line, first down. Wants to throw outside. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. They just couldn't get to the quarterback in time. That's one of the things that can happen if a defense brings extra guys to rush the quarterback. The offense will have favorable matchups to get the ball downfield. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. That makes it second and two. Get to that quickly. They'll bring him down around the 39-yard line. Taken back three yards. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. the 39 yard line third down catches it and that's all that pass play went for nearly enough to keep moving but they're stopped just short boy that's tough that is always a tough pill to swallow having to leave the field knowing how close you came to converting on third down you gotta get those gives it to the back he didn't get it. It's not even close. Huge play for the defense. The offense tried to run right by him with the counter play, but the defense was there to make the stop. Great hold, guys. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. rid of it quickly and that was almost picked i'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he's getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane second down 10 to go ball on the 35 yard line and they get nice yardage on that run It's another carry. And they make the stop around the 41 yard line. That brings us fourth and three. Vaughn will be the return man. He makes it to the 32 yard line. 
I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Nice run there. Ward picks up about seven yards on the run. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Play action. And he's tackled around the 44-yard line. And a good decision there. Yep, he didn't have anybody open downfield. And instead of panicking and throwing the ball into coverage or maybe throwing the ball away, he had the composure to recognize the open field and had the athletic ability to get the first down. That's a nice job. Brought down around the 46-yard line. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. And he's taken down at the 46-yard line. And they keep it on the ground for the first down. Nothing too fancy here. The key is that the running back was able to convert the first down. Throws it in a hurry. And he hits him hard at the 36. Picks makes the tackle at the 36 yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Completes it across the middle. Tackle around the 23-yard line. I'll tell you what, this defensive coordinator is not afraid to send the house. He brought every linebacker, and the quarterback was still able to convert the first down. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. Touchdown, B.C. put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. And he hits the PAT. A seven play, 68 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 27. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. They'll drop him for a loss. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Mike two, Mike two. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. That'll bring up third and long. Throws incomplete. He'll learn he doesn't always need to use his cannon. Sometimes precision is more important than power. Craig is the putter. Mon fields it at the 39, and he just got stood up right there. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Boston College is up a score. Here we go. Now he tries to buy some time. 
And they got it. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Second and ten. Ball on their own 46. Tries to get around the corner. He's taken down at the 39. That's good for a game of 15 yards. That makes it first and 10. Larry, Larry. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. That's a game of 10 on the play. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Back to the tailback, and he's hit immediately for a loss. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. He's knocked out of bounds at the 18-yard line. Pretty good gain right there. You know, the thing that impresses me about this offense is their ability to spread the ball around. They're not afraid to go to their tight ends, their tailbacks, and in this case, their fullback. Nicely designed play. Tackle made at the 17. From the 17-yard line. It's second down. Boston College is up seven. Tackled for a loss. And this play is number eight on the drive. Steps out of bounds at the 14-yard line. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Boston College can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. Kicks up, and he's got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the three. Across the 30. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. The Eagles have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, do not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. They bring him down in the backfield. The defensive end came through to put him away. Nice job of utilizing his athletic ability to get in there and then make a sure tackle. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. They'll give it off here. He makes it to the 35-yard line. That's, That's good, good for a gain of three, three yards. yards. That, that brings, brings us third and ten. ten. Right, right, Roger, Roger. Pull down, pull down. Watch number 12, watch number 12. Ready. Point 88. Watch the side. Watch the side. Watch the side. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And down he goes. Right around the 46-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Heading for the corner. And he's level at the 46. He's scrambling. 
and he's going to be sacked. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. And so it's another third down upcoming here. And we've reached the end of one. 10 nothing, Boston College. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Runs right for a nice game. This is the 10th play of this drive. Incomplete intended for his wideouts. A halfback is usually not used to making throws like that. Questionable call, but at least they're mixing up their offense a bit and trying to keep the defense on their toes. From the 25-yard line, second down. Slings it, and they make the stop around the 19-yard line. Or at the 12th play of the drive. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And he is drilled at the 10-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 10. Carroll on the pitch to the right. He tackles him for a loss. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. And this is the 14th play of the drive. Here's the give. He's gobbled up in the backfield. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. Third down. Third down and 12. Ball on the 12. Hey, check by 33. Check by 33. Ready. Watch the pace. 45. 3. 45. Got it. And he goes down quickly. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. It's up, and it's through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Missouri kicked this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. 
With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Boston College is up by a touchdown. He's got it out to his tight end. And he's tackled at the 30. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Straight ahead on the give, and there's nowhere to run. Throws this one out to the right, and he brings it down. Brought down around the 34-yard line. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Slings it out and it gets tipped. That's what the defensive back coach likes to see. His kids reacting when the ball's in the air and then making the play. Fights forward to about the 33. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Boston College is hoping to make this a two-score game. Kicks away, and it's good! And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He got hit hard. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He gets to about the 34-yard line. Running back picked up about eight on the draw. So it's second down and about two yards to go. fake and looking to run tackle at about the 37 yard line he's into the open field he makes his way to about the 45 It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Here he goes. Tackled after a decent pickup. Setting up the play action. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he's taken down right around the 28-yard line. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executing. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. From the 28-yard line, first down. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. He makes.
takes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. From the 16-yard line, it's first down. And they get nice yardage on that run. It's the ninth play of the drive. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. Here's third and nine. Ball on the 14-yard line. He's taken down right around the six-yard line. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start, offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. After the penalty, it's now fourth and five. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Boston College up seven points. A little toss across the middle. He's tackled at the 22. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle made right around the 32-yard line. From their own 32-yard line. First down. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. That makes it second and ten. He heaves it deep. Incomplete. Almost picked off. It's third and ten. Ball on the 32. Fires out to his wideout. And down he goes at the 41. Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play call. Almost perfect execution, except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Missouri's offense is so predicated on what this wide receiver does. And now when you consider that we've got a couple of quarters left, they've got to change the complexion of the game a little bit. They're going to have to do it with somebody else, I think. This is really where a coaching staff gets challenged because for five or six days, you prep. And you look at a lot of film, and you kind of come into a game by the time Saturday rolls around, and you have a good idea of how you want to attack a defense. And then you go out there, and it's not working. And you have to show an ability as a coaching staff to go back and look at that drawing board and eliminate some things and maybe add some things and be able to try to make the adjustments you need to to give your team a chance to win in the second half. Slides down. Now 
Now he tries to buy some time. Slides down to the ground. He's on the run. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. They'll bring him down at the 49. He's going to try and scramble. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's knocked out of bounds around the 30-yard line. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. Flags are all over the place and they'll blow it dead. False start, offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. He gets it up. And he just drilled it from long range. They're probably just going to squib this kick. I don't think they want to see the return man create lightning before halftime. McGowan from the five. Tackle at the 20. Well, we played a half of football. Boston College is up by four. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Defense has been dominant in this game. Yards very hard to come by. But David, as we get deeper and deeper into this game, the natural assumption is that the pressure goes to the offense to do something. Yeah. How much pressure is on the defense not to make that catastrophic mistake? Well, that, that's, the, that's the conundrum you get in. I mean, it makes it exceptionally tough because you want to play perfect, and you want to get them to punt every single time, but it's not the way it works. And it's those big plays that you usually see that kill the defenses and break their backs. And you can hold them great, Reese, on first down, second down, it's third and long. You're in a perfect situation. You give up that one play for 80, and it changes the whole complexion of the game. So I think you got to have a little bit of both. It can't just be great defense the whole time. Usually the teams that play great defense can keep you in it, but only for so long. At some point, that offense has to get something going. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf? Some ash turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. Gets to about the 27-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. This safety is as vicious a player as you're going to find. He will make the tackle every single time. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. He gets hit out of bounds right around the 38-yard line. Just throws this one away. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. Straight 
run here, and he's got nowhere to go. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Bond awaiting the return. Tackle made at the 39 yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Boston College is up by four. Pitch play here. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. That's good for three yards. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 42. Going deep, lays it out there. Incomplete. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 16-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. And they make the stop around the 21-yard line. From their own 21-yard line, second down. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. He sails it long. And he's hit immediately. First down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. And he's tackled at about the 23-yard line. Brought down at the 16. That's good for the seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. I got eight. I got eight. I got eight. Mike two and nine. They hand it off. The 10. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. Runs outside for a nice game. And this is the eighth play of the drive. For a loss, they'll lose a yard on that quarterback keeper. That makes it third and goal. Third 
third and goal, and the offense is only four yards away from being able to take the lead. Touchdown, Mizzou! Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he converts the extra point. A nine play, 84 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Frank has his kick team lined up and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 29 yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Takes the ball inside. He tackles him for a loss. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 27-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Makes it out to about the 36. That'll bring up 32. Keep it on the ground and a great tackle right there. It's a good surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first. at the 36-yard line. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. He's got an opening. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown, Tigers. Wow. When you see that end zone in front of you, it can elevate your running to another level. Awesome play. And he hits the PAT. Missouri ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And he's taken down at the 18-yard line. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. And he's taken down at the 15-yard line. From their own 15-yard line, second down. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. He airs 
brings it out. Caught. Tackle at the 33-yard line. That makes it first and 10. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and 10. Some daylight. He's at the 20. Gains his way to the 19 yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He makes it to the nine. Taken down at the nine. That makes it first and goal. And this play is number eight on the drive. And they hit him in the backfield. It's second and goal. Ball on the nine. Guns it in there. Touchdown. Catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. The draw within a field goal. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Boston College lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 24. Both teams have really answered the bell here in the third quarter, Kirk. Well, we're exciting to see what these offenses have been able to do here. Be able to come out and score in your first drive. Tells you a lot about what they did during the half. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Missouri is up a field goal. He's tackled at the 33. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Makes the catch and look out, and down he goes at the 50-yard line. From midfield, first down. Now he tries to buy some time. 
He's at the 40. He's tackled in the open field. From the 31 yard line, first down. Runs it right. Nice pickup. That's three down and one to go. The Tigers with a three-point lead. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Missouri has a three-point lead. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. Third down. Third down again. Now he's scrambling, and he's going to come up with a sack. Fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. He gets it up, and he just drilled it from long range. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalked up three points for the offense. 26-20, Missouri. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. McGowan fields at the goal line. They'll bring him down at the 23-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Tackle made at the 35-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 35. He steps out at the 42-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He's into the open field. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. That's a gain of 14 yards on the play. First down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. From the 40-yard line, second down. They'll drop him for a loss. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop at the 12-yard line. That's 
Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. He's on the run. And he's tackled at the nine-yard line. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. He's got him, but he's short of the first down. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Missouri with a six-point lead. He's scrambling. Brought down at the 16-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. They run for it and a major collision. Bond, the return man. Bond takes it at the 47. Tackle made at the 39-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. hands on it and dropped it. From the 39-yard line, second down. Give to the running back and he's going to lose yardage. has the INT. Try to change the field position with his kick. This punt bounces into the end zone and this will be a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Missouri up six. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's level at the 40. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 40. Nice 
run up the middle. He's going to try and scramble. And he's taken down at the 41. From the 41-yard line, it's first down. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it second and 10. Yard line. Third down. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. Just under three to go in regulation. Complete. He's down. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. Kicks up. Now they leave three points on the field there. So our count is still 26-20, Missouri. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Now he's got room to run. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That'll bring up second and three. He chucks it downfield. And he stays in bounds to make the catch. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. He scrambles, runs with it, and he's got room. He dives and he'll be marked down. Just under two minutes in the game. Tackle at the 11. So the option keeper goes for about a yard. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. From the 11-yard line, it's second down. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. He fights forward to about the 13. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. This junior corner has been progressively improving his run defense. He's better at diagnosing those plays now. He knows how to bring a guy down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ballgame, and now the offense has got a chance to win it. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. 
They'll need something really big here out of their quarterback on fourth and long. Throws down the middle. Defense stiffens on fourth down, and the ball will change hands. This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead. They've got a chance to add to it, and that would mean a victory. And they get nice yardage on that run. Noel picks up about four yards on the play. From their own 17-yard line, second down. Nice run there as they work the outside. Noel gains about five yards on the run. Boston College is out of timeouts. Under a minute left in the game. Up the middle for a nice game. The defense can't be surprised that they're running the football. But for whatever reason, they're not stepping up when they need to to be able to come up with a stop. From their own 27-yard line. First down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He'll go down to one knee. The Tigers coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team is able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.